So today, today's video is pretty weird. It's out there. It's a weird abandoned facility. Today we're inside an Asian cult society. I really don't have that much information on the place. I got told about the location. It was a campsite for Asians. Um, I think specifically Chinese, but I may be wrong. There's a ton of writing everywhere, so I'm sure there's some people in the comments that will know. So let me know if you see any writing that's distinctive of what culture was living here. Anyway, this place was abandoned about like the 80s, and right now we're inside one of the dorm rooms, uh, houses more like. There's about four of them, and if you hear alarms, they're fire alarms. The, the alarms up here, they're still working. I don't know how batteries last years apparently, but let's uh, check out this first building and move on and see what else we could see. So like I said, this is the dormitory where all the cult members slept and there's about like five beds in every, every room here. So I think about 20 to 30 people would be staying here. And this is the first building we've been into and so far it's really creepy. Just all the beds folded up and everything. Oh my god, look at these spider webs. That's crazy, that's so many years of decay and build up. Jesus. Look how close these guys slept next to each other. There's probably, there was one, two, three, four, five, six people in this place. In this room. <laughs> this one's locked. So we have building 11, 10, and building 9. All these were dormitories. Um, we went to that one right there where you saw all the beds. So there'd probably be uh, 30 people there, 30 people there, maybe 30 people living in here. In total, nearly 100 people alone just in these three houses for this cult society. We have some more buildings, possibly admin. We have a villa looking house. So while we were in the pool area, we just got messed up by some bees. He got stung a couple times. Myself though, I'm good, I ran. I saw some, I saw yellow uh, flies, essentially, and I dipped out of there quick. It's not gonna stop us from exploring though. Right behind me. Go across. Religious society. Shit, let's get in these buildings. Hopefully there's no bees. Oh my god. So I did get stung a couple times. My back's on fire right now. So if you hear me grunting or doing anything weird, that's because I'm in pain from bee stings. This place is super creepy.
I'm good though. I can't. I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna feel like the rest of the day. I'm good. Let me know what that means. Asian. So this must have been like the dining room area. It's crazy, look how many chairs there are. Just chilling. This is in great condition. I don't want to sound stereotypical or racist in any way, but I swear to you this kitchen smells like rice. And I'm nervous to open this fridge. Ugh, mold. It's all a lot of mold. <coughs> Let's leave. So unfortunately, we can't get into the chapel. All doors are locked. I don't usually, I don't at all break into places. I come in and if the doors are open and you know, a lot of places doors are just wide open. So sometimes that's the case. Sometimes we get into places and you can't get into the coolest parts, which, which probably would be the chapel. But you know, the outside's cool. I peeked in some of the windows, the really tiny cracks. My lens wouldn't be able to pick up. It's mainly just storage in there. They took out all the seats. So uh, we're not really missing out on too much, but it's still cool that it's here. The decay is pretty cool. So let's uh, try to get into this main building right here, like the villa looking one, and see what else we could find. It's really the last building here. Pretty interesting place. If you're enjoying the video, a thumbs up would let me know right away if uh, you're into this type of stuff. I think it's pretty cool. So let's go inside. So we are now in the villa building. And honestly, well, is this Really, there's a lot of flies in here, so it's making me think there's probably dead animals. 
But other than that, this place is pretty mint. I got a Baldwin piano. Let me know if those are worth some money. We have a big Sony, not really a flat screen, it's like an early 2000s flat screen, and a boombox. Ooh, the upstairs looks creepy. All right, time to go up into the spooky upstairs part of this house. Oh, wow. This staircase is super nice. Wow, this place is in great condition. So I've never tried this before, but I'm on Google Translate and I'm going to line up the text English to Chinese to see if we could figure out what this means. And I don't know if this takes a second. I've tried it a couple times and it wasn't working. Nope, nothing. Honestly, I probably have the language wrong. It's probably not even Chinese. I was told it's a Chinese uh, camp though. So I was just going with what I'm told. Maybe some other people can look that up and find out what that means. I mean, we're just in a kitchen, so it can't be anything crazy. It probably literally says kitchen, but you never know. It was cool uh, to try to figure it out. Wow, this place looks like it was just deserted. Just to see these little, uh, like crocs on the floor, I don't know. Just crazy. Oh, it's one of those beds that you can control it. It's in Chinese, or whatever language you oh, <laughs> You scared the shit out of me. <laughs> See if there's anything left in the drawers. Damn, like the slippers, like that's so creepy. I that's it looks like someone just came out of bed this morning and just walked out the door and just never came back. Drawers are empty. That doesn't even have a handle. Yeah, nothing. So creepy. It's so post-apocalyptic. Like someone just left or was just staying here. I wouldn't be surprised if there are squatters here in general.
So what you saw upstairs in the attic of that one villa house, there was probably about 15 rooms up in there and about five of them were locked and just based on the condition of all the other rooms, like it looks like somebody just left the place. I was spooked out. I mean, I've been to hospitals, prisons, asylums, anywhere, and I've never had a feeling like so strange, like so alone that I had up in that attic. I had to get out of there. I just walked out. Um, that's going to do it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, creeped out, anything, leave a comment. Let me know how you thought. Thumbs up to let me know right away if you guys enjoyed and subscribe. And that's going to be it, and I'll see you guys at the next video. Peace out.